person, Victor, I will send people full-on messages and give them the stories and talk to them because I just, I don't know, ghosting for me is just traumatic. Like, I need some closure. I mean, y'all know that. There was literally a video about me begging for closure last week, but I need closure. I need some little, like, to know. So, like, if you're not going to answer, I'm just going to try. I don't know why I took my earring out. Maybe I was distracted. Oh, oh my god! Pick up the... You okay? Yeah, just... Uh, still not work from Benji since you left for me. Stupid rehab and their stupid... Focusing, focusing on, on sobriety? sobriety. Ugh. Hey, at least he's back this weekend, right? Presumably. Yeah, it's just, you know, he left in such a hurry, I, I don't really know where we stand. I mean, for all I know, he could be with some hot recovering addict named Joaquin. Joaquin well, Phoenix? First of all, I am sure Benji misses you too. At least you tried to reach out. Felix, you still haven't reached out to Lake? Oh my god. I thought you were going to apologize for, you know, abandoning her on the dance floor. Yeah, look, okay, I was. Lake doesn't know about you and my sister. She to be fair, really does idea. he know about Lake and Lucy? Really? What's so, like. <laughs> Why do we care about Felix's feelings? Last time I checked, because Felix is a me. nice person. Maybe it's okay if he feels a little bad about me and Lucy. I'm getting a selfie of us kissing made into a puzzle. <gasps> oh my God! Some strawberry tarts coming in hot for my strawberry tart. Oh, well, Did you just call her a tart? And the pastry is not that weird nickname. But you know what Mia does want. Mia wants to throw a party. I'm sorry. Did Mia Brooks just say she wants to throw a party? <laughs> I'm fine. I just want to stop stressing about what's next. Fair. I'm going to take advantage of this empty house. Oh my god. Oh. Isabel. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, why do you look so beautiful? You have nothing to be worried about. <sighs> Actually, I think I do. Uh, because that little floozy that was getting boop, boop, boop with you is going to be at that P-flag meeting. And, uh, you know, she has to show her up as your boss. And now all of a sudden I'm going to walk in and they're going to be like, oh, look. There's the one who took forever to get on board. <laughs> <laughs> it is Monday morning. Oh, what can I say? The sex he wants to turn this Monday into a bold day. <laughs> oh my god, Pilar! Oh my god, Raheem! Awkward! Awkward! Come on, make eye contact. Oh. So many meetings. Okay. Right? Felix? It's like Aloha or, or Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> Felix! <laughs> Can I pull off fam? You can no. pull off this fam. Uh, so guys, uh, my dad is going out of town. What? No, I, it was my idea. <laughs> I'm fun. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're fun. Oh, I'm you're fun. Ah, uh, actually, so. Oh, I'm seeing someone too. Wow. I, I only date guys in my building. So <laughs> either Felix or the ghost of the guy that died in three or four. <laughs> we are. Uh, oh yeah, funny. really? Wow. Who, who's the lucky guy? Who's the lucky guy? 
<laughs> Andrew. For us. For Felix. For all involved. Zip it. I mean, we, we, zip. We, 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 zip. 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 Pop. Boop. Beep. Boop. Pop. Burp. Flip. Pop. Raheem, stop being stingy. So many meanings. Felix is already having a bad influence on her. I don't like this. I know, it's a lot to get your head around. Lake and Lucy? Lucy? Yeah. But that's all this is, right? Thank you. Oh boy, this is gonna be intriguing. So, uh, what's going on here? Are they, like, regretting things? Are they, uh... Hey, um, have you been getting my text? Yep. Oh! Not that! Great party, baby. People are already saying this is the rager of the year. Do you need anything else? Water, soda, chips, the other Andrew, 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 I know that you're worried about me, but I am trying to have fun. And you following me around and making sure I'm okay is actually really unnerving. Okay. Andrew's overprotectiveness hey, is man. kinda cute. How's it going? Veggie stuff. They're still awkward. Raheem. But like me stuff. they're way more bro y <laughs> and it's kinda Andrew, This couch feels amazing. It's like in the cloud. Are, are you guys okay? We're better than okay, man. Are you guys on something right now? <laughs> and you didn't no. share? If we were on something, would you, would you want something though? No. I mean, that's sweet though. Oh my god. Nothing can bring me down. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, it's so nice to see all of these new faces. <gasps> oh, wait. Would any of our first timers like to. It isn't. Is that who I think it is? Is that who I think it is? Hi. <gasps> son Asher. Uh, Asher came out to me about a month ago and in that moment my entire reality turned upside down. She looks so good. I'm not proud of this. It took me 30 seconds to get off that couch. 30 long seconds before I wrapped it Oh you poor thing. 30 said, seconds? I to be happy. 30 seconds, wow. Seconds. Oh my god, I want to see Trace of Odd. Uh, Pilar. No, no, Matt, why? Why would you say no? She clearly has some unresolved Felix baggage. So, what do we do? Help them unpack? I feel like my hearing is better than it's like ever been. I can hear your heartbeat right now. Aww. Why don't we hug like this more often? Because you're straight. Hug like this more often. Yeah, I fully support that. Then maybe Raheem would stop hating me for choosing Benji. You should wingman for him. Help him seal the deal. Absolutely I, not. I, you know what? I'm so glad that you found you and that you're nice now. Oh, nice now. <laughs> Okay, I like Andrew this one. Hey, I'm Ryder. I've never seen you at Greek Club before. Oh, yeah, I go to San Francisco. Oh, so you're smart. You know who else is smart? Victor, what the hell? Raheem, he's, he's smart, he's hot, and he can bake. It was really nice meeting you, Ryder. I mean, his heart was in the right place. I, I was just trying to help. Shit, I am so sorry. All good. Um, refreshing. Oh, maybe he did just help. Maybe he did just help. Was that helpful? Was that refreshing? I mean... I really thought you would get the hint by now, but since me not answering your text didn't work and me not talking to you at school didn't work, I'm going to make this as painfully clear as possible. Leave me alone. I'm not mad at you for that, but then you decided to just brush it all aside by sending me jokey texts and life updates. I thought we had a connection, and you made me feel like I was crazy for that. If you can't see how hurtful that is, then... We weren't very good friends to begin with. Or he could just have different coping methods and, you know, ways of communicating without wanting to bring up certain things that you do. Like maybe if you had communicated on your own and told him what you wanted to talk about, he could have done that. So, um, would anyone else like to... You're new. Okay, you want to hear my story, Teresa? Um, oh, no. I am a terrible, horrible mother. 
Took me way too long to accept my son when he came out. I'm not talking 30 seconds. I'm talking months, months of me judging him, of me not accepting him for who he is. Uh, we had an unbreakable bond, and I broke it. Um, I love that the only way she spits out her story is in a moment of sassy bitchiness towards someone who just, like... I love it. She is so... You two need to figure your shit out. Huh? You guys need to go somewhere private where you can talk about whatever's going on between you two. Oh! There, there's nothing. No. We're okay. fine. No gaslighting, huh? <clears throat> go. Go. Okay. I like these two together, though. You think we did the right thing, right? Honestly, I was way more confident about it two minutes ago. I didn't think they'd go upstairs. <clears throat> okay, but why are you sad? I'm like, trying to be strong and positive for you because I know the last thing you need is another person to take care of. But the truth is, I am so scared. And no, we are. This is so cute, but also like depressing as fuck that he yeah, actually had yeah, to be cute. like on something and in order to like express himself I this openly and freely. And they are cute though. Adju is surprisingly wholesome, but he is not being a complete and utter douchebag. Yes, yeah, same. I didn't think it would be, but it is. And it's not like I still want to be with you. I mean, no offense. And no, 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 none taken, all right? Lucy is way hotter than me. <laughs> Why are we struggling with this? Because you guys still want to be friends. The night of the wedding, you just left me on that dance floor. Most important chapter of my life had no real ending. Which, again, closure. Yeah. Fucking closure. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I was a coward, and you deserve it. Ah, oh, to hear those words. Aww. I also think slapping you would help give me closure. <laughs> oh. Did you just say okay? Not joking? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't slap him. He's too floopy. But y'all still better be friends. Y'all still better be talking, hanging out with each other. Come well, on. I'm thinking of sending two exes into a bedroom for some private time. Uh, uh, Maybe uh, the uh, dumbest people in history of high school. Nope. Earlier tonight, some kids started behind a push or something. Hey. <laughs> we know. We're lucky to have us. <laughs> Play the confidence. Play the confidence. If you don't have it, fake it. Fake it till you make it. See? <laughs> This is Raheem's house, right? But if you need more space, I I told you. Which is why you came to his front door so, and um, uh Yeah, that's that's it. That's the end of my speech. <laughs> you are officially the most traumatic person I know. Damn right! You can't even ask someone to be friends without a big show about his house at night gesture, can you? Nope. We can be friends again. Look at you play yeah, cool. I just. I needed you to acknowledge that what we've been through was real. So. Ryder was pretty hot for a straight boy, right? Oh, yeah. So hot. Look at these two. They're so. I love their friendship. I was, like, really vibing strong on Raheem and Victor and together. Teresa, the dream mom. I know she's just there making such a big fat Greek spectacle of herself. Victor's already forgiven you. He may have forgiven me, but I haven't forgiven myself. Ready to forgive myself. Which is valid because you know, as a parent, you're supposed to do certain things and be certain things. So imagine how she feels, but realizing that she just. Made her love to her son Pardon? conditional. Your dad will be none the wiser. Oh, he will. He'll know. You He's a dad. Legend? It better be good news. He's dead now. Look, I'm sorry, sweetheart. All right, I tried. I really did. And Lake's mom taught me how to drive. 
So give her one more year. Anne only screamed a little when I scratched her rims. <laughs> <laughs> Their families are my family, too. Give her her year. So let me stay here. I was already thinking this last year, people, yeah. And sometimes we'll see each other. And sometimes we'll be apart, just like it's always been. Sweetheart, where would you live? At Lakes. Have you seen their house? And they have bedrooms that they've never even been inside of. <laughs> she does have a very valid point I here. I love and... I'll talk to Lake's parents, and if they say it's okay, then... Oh, she's already talked to them, I bet he. They could not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do feel sorry for her. She's having to... crying. Yeah, I know this party was your fault, Mark. Poor Andrew taking the blame for the party. He's innocent. This was all Mia. No text, no announcement, no. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to see you in person. Uh, good. Well, come in. I, I want to hear everything and how it went. I can. Oh, boy. Victor, it, it went well. But I still have... A lot of work to do. I'm, I'm supposed to avoid any uh, emotional triggers right now, and uh, that includes you. Wait, what, is, what does that mean? It means we need to break up. We, we can't be talking, or we can't be hanging out. We, we, we just have to steer clear of each other. Oof. It's more complicated than that. It's about what I need. I'm actually really intrigued about how... I feel like this is going to be, so I'll just save it until the credits. Poor Victor, though. Oh, my God. He literally just diffused the whole situation with Raheem, and then this happens. Like, oh, my God. As I was going to say, I'm actually really intrigued about how a professional in terms of addiction treatment and such uh, would feel about this because on the one hand, you know, he is a teenager. This relationship isn't going to be really as serious as like, you know, a full on adult relationship type thing. But I am curious about how a professional would look at this scenario outside of a script because I'm just thinking like, you know, any kind of relationship can like cause a lot of emotional triggers and such especially a relationship, especially one that is sort of built on foundations like this. And I'm just wondering, like, would it be considered ethical or, like, you know, best interest of the patient type thing to tell them the, to forego a relationship like this? And is it something that happens in degrees? Like, if they've been dating for a certain amount of time, would they recommend this more over other options? If they're married, do they have other options presented to them instead of this, etc., etc.? Because I do feel like, purely on an ethics standpoint, no real therapist would recommend that for marriage, since that is, you know, like a monetary element to it and a lot of contractual obligation aspects to it as well. But I don't know. Like Again, I do realize it him as a minor, him as a teenager and a younger person, there's other aspects here, but that is just sort of sticking out in my head as like a weird sort of thing, but oh my god, a lot happened here, this episode is so, this was good, dramatic, heavy, oh my god, this show goes so, after Heartstopper, like I am really feeling Love Victor's heaviness, and I'm saying that after the whole Felix and his mother thing, so, like, this just feels so heavy right now. And I'm not used to this. Oh my god, I can't wait to keep watching the rest. This was me reacting to Love, Victor for Series 3. If you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. And of course, remember, life always gets better as long as you work at it brick by brick. See ya!